Happy Wine Wednesday, everybody! Welcome to another Wine Wednesday plus Earth Day. Happy Earth Day, everybody! I've got my wine. I've got my special Earth Day Wally shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we are gonna get things going here in just a minute. Um, I don't know why I can't see any comments. The chat broken. Oh, there we go. There it's working. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, YouTube, I can't figure you out. Sometimes you just don't work, and that is not a great thing. But what is a great thing is that it's Wednesday, and it's Wine Wednesday, and Earth Day, and uh, <clears throat> something I thought would be fun. Oh, Samantha, you got a new wine for tonight. Awesome. Um, something I thought that would be fun and interesting. I don't know. It's interesting to me, and, and if you're watching this, then it might be interesting to you. I don't know. But um, since it is Earth Day, I thought while we try this wine, which I got from Wine Access, you know I love my Wine Access, we're going through all the wines I got in my shipment. Um, since it's Earth Day, I wanted to uh, like just talk to you guys about some things that I've learned about climate change and its effect on wine making because it's a big deal. It's a big deal. As Wally, yes, you guys are all um, admiring the shirt. Yes, yes, yes. This is a box lunch shirt, um, and uh, you know, gotta wear it today. It's 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 Earth Day, so um, thank you very much, everybody, on the uh, the the shirt compliments. So I'm a science dude, Max, just like Bill Nye the Science Guy. Yeah, yeah, Luke. This is going to be a, a, a Bill Nye the Science Guy kind of, uh, uh, video, I think. <laughs> um, so, you tell me how you would like this video to go. Should I, so this thing has been open for about, I opened it right before we started. We just started like three minutes ago. Um, so, uh, Wine Access said I should have this open for about 15 minutes before I pour it. So, I'm gonna give it another few minutes, and then we'll get cracking on the wine. Is that cool? So, I see a lot of familiar faces here. I see Shannon, Dee Dee, what's up? Erica, hi. Um, so, it's, um, it's Earth Day, guys, and uh, that's when I got this on, obviously. Oh, my mom is here. Hi, Mom. Happy Earth Day, Mom. Michelle Clarice, hi. Um, it's Earth Day, and uh, it's a big day. That's a really big day, obviously. Uh, and Earth Day pertains to wine in what way? Hey, Zara, cheers. How does, how does, how does wine, what, what's going on there? Because, well... Because wine is basically an agricultural product, you know? Um, the grapes that are used to make wine are, are, are grown and harvested uh, to be fermented. So, of course, our climate greatly affects how this is made. Is this a trivia question? I don't know, Didi. Maybe I'll do some wine trivia one day in, in, <laughs> instead of Disney trivia. <laughs> Michael, Deb, Deb Johnson's gonna buy me a drink at Rose Garden. All right. Hey. Well, Deb and Michael Johnson, thank you so much for the super chat, and I can't wait to have a drink with you at the Rose and Crown. <laughs> Sounds good. Um. Yeah. So, basically, the grapes, wine, the grapes, the wine grapes are, like, super sensitive to our climate. Um, climate change has actually had, like, a huge Im impact on uh, wine. 
and I was reading about it today because I had some time, because we all have a lot of time. <laughs> we got a lot of time to kill. So today, I educated myself on, on wine and climate change. So if you don't mind, I would like to share some of that with you because it'll make me happy, and I hope it makes you happy to learn some things. Um, Amanda, hi. Oh, Kathy, thank you so much for watching. And Amanda, thanks for watching. Um, I hope it's not too boring. I don't know. But you know what? I feel like we could all use this time to learn some things, right? You know? So. All right. Before I do that, can I just pour this and talk to you guys a little bit about this? Okay. I've never tried this wine before, and uh, this is Yao, 2016 Yao Family Wines Napa Crest Red Wine from Napa. Now, how many of you guys recognize the name Yao? Does anyone recognize this name? Because that's what drew me to this one, and that's why I got it. So, does anyone know who Yao could be? Anyone? 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 Erica, yes! You got it! Erica is right. Yao Ming. Samantha's right. Yao Ming. Yao Ming, if you guys don't know, um, famous, famous, famous NBA player. He was the first um, NBA player from China. And he now has Yao Family Wines. Um, let me show you him. There's Yao Ming. Yao Ming, super tall. Oh my gosh, crazy. So Yao Ming um, was actually uh, visited Napa for the first time in 2009 and fell in love with Napa, and uh, just like I have, and created a winery of his own, which is so cool. Uh, that's the dream, man. That's the dream. So. Let's, um, let's pour this, and we'll get this tasting going. And if you have uh, something that you are tasting at home, taste it with me, because we're going to taste it the right way, you know? Okay. So let's pour this. Ooh. Wow. That is... Look at that. Look at that color wine. Huh? That is a deep, ooh yeah, look at that color. That is nice, okay. So, what have we learned, guys? What have we learned? How do we drink our wine? How do we do this? You gotta see it, okay? Anyone else doing this with me? Because if you've got a drink, I don't even care if it's not wine. Just do this with your drink that you're holding in your hands right now, okay? So you want to see it? Take a look at it. Okay? Let's take a look. See it? You want to smell it? You want to swirl it? Okay? Really let that thing breathe. Okay? Ooh, wow, that smells amazing. I'm getting some real, like, deep, um, mm, pl plum, like, deep, dark plum. Okay, let's. Oh, baby. <laughs> Cheers to you, Yao Ming. You created... Oh, hey, dang good wine. <laughs> Woo! Oh, wow, yow. That's what I'm going to say. Wow, yow. <laughs> um, oh, I see a couple of super chats in here. Dee Dee, thank you so much. Do not worry that your super chat isn't... You, you, you're great. Do not worry, Dee Dee. Shout out to Loki. Dee Dee's cat, Loki. 
Your rum shall be cheese by cranberry juice and a cheesy puff. Emily, whatever you gotta do, okay? Whatever you gotta do. Thank you so much for the super chat. So, um, this thing is... This thing is... Is, is big and bold and... I'm getting, uh, um, it's a, it's real full body. And what did we learn about the full body stuff? We learned that's the part you can really tell a full body wine when, when you can feel the, the denseness of it in here. Like you'll get just like this liquidy, ah, stuff going back there. Super dry, which you can feel up here. I feel it here. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, and I'm getting just a silky smooth, just dark fruit, blackberry, plum. That's what we're doing here. Man, this is, I've got forever drinking Josh Cab at home. That's good, that, that, that's good stuff. So this is um, mostly Cab. So this is mostly Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, and it also has Merlot, Cab Franc, and per Petit Verdot. So good. Dry red wines and Disney vlogs getting you through. Yeah. Oh, I feel you, Gina. I mean, I made Disney vlogs and drink wine, but it was, uh, you know. Erica, you having a cab tonight? Um. Yeah, this is, this is so good. And I, I love the I love a story where, you know, a guy comes from China, basketball player, then takes a trip to Napa and is like, I love this place. Just just, just like me. Without the China and the basketball part. And without the ability to afford to, to buy a vineyard. One day, right? Mm. Oh my god. Oh, this is making me so happy. I was looking forward to this. Oh my gosh, it's so juicy in the back here. Really, ah, all in the... I love it. I love this. Um, wow, Yao Ming, you done good. Like I said, wow, Yao. <laughs> so, um, What I was saying about, uh, yeah, yeah, I love Napa too, Erica. Erica, you've been there. Um, you would donate to my winery. You know, like that would be uh, such a dream to have a, a winery, a little cheesy pop, cheesy pop winery. Could you imagine? Oh, to get married in Napa? Yeah. A cheesy pop winery would be, would be, yeah, the, right? You know, one day. One day. I would love to make wine that tastes like this. Um, and again, I got this at Wine Access, guys, and you get these little handy pamphlets. You could learn a lot about, um, the wine that you're drinking and, like, history of the wine and the family that makes it. Super cool. Uh, this is delicious. Cheesy Pop Cellars. Yeah, good, yeah, Disney fans, yeah. Art pieces with no necks. If you've been... <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Oh, gosh, that's really funny. Yeah. Cat, happy Earth Day to you, too. Oh, I, I really... Yes, we we are going to keep dreaming and, and, and keep that thing going to purchase our future winery. You know it. You know it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you. Really. Uh, I did see a question. How much is this wine? This one is going to set you back a little bit more than... The ones that we tried the last few weeks. This one is uh, 40 forty dollars, which is I'm, I still think that is a great price for something like this. Um, I, I do, and I discount wine access when I got it, so it was less than that. Uh, so it's it's great. Um, hi RJ, what's up, buddy? Sheepdog, have I ever tried Skywalker wines? Yes, Skywalker Pinot Noir. Amazing. You guessed one hundred twenty-five? No, no, no. 
I, I try to keep things here that we can, you know, that I try to taste some wines for you guys that are actually affordable, but still taste really, really good, which is why wine access has been like the, the best thing that I've found. <laughs> um, because these wines taste like hundred dollar wines, but uh, they're, they're not. They do sell wines that are crazy priced, but... Oh, it's so good. So, um... Anyone, um, sipping their wines with me? Anyone? Anyone? If you are, please do, uh, send me your Instagram stories so that I can repost you guys later. Um, cheers to all of you. Uh, virtual cheers to everybody. Uh, Don, what is the best reds? Um, Cabernet Sauvignon is my favorite. Um, uh, Hall Winery is really amazing. Hall Wines, they've got, um, specializing cab, but they're more expensive. So that's why I I'm so happy that I've found, you know, stuff like this, wine access that is not as crazy in price. Um... Yeah. Oh, hey, Britt, the type of cheese that would be good with this. You know, you could do a hard, um, I would think a, I, I feel like a harder cheese would be good with this. Yeah. Hard. Uh, yeah. Something, of, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm, so good. Um, it's just a little more bold, so I think it needs a, oh, a little more of a bold cheese. Sharp cheddar would, would be fine, I think. Give it like a Dublin or Irish cheddar, if you've ever heard of that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Blue cheese? Uh, I don't know. I think I might have a... Um, hold on a second. Hold on. Stay right there. Stay right there. Um, yeah, these are two that I think would work. Um, this is a hard, this is a hard cheese, a Dubliner. Oh, what is this one? I can't even remember. <laughs> Sometimes it's like, uh, like that one. You know? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me just slice something. Let me just slice something here. Hold on a second. <laughs> I gotta do this for you guys, because now I'm curious. All right. I'll be right there. Slice that one up. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Hang tight. Coming right back. Um, with the cheese in my hand. Okay, hi, what's up? Okay, 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 okay. So, this is some, um, Irish cheddar. Um, and let me, let me see here. So, when you eat... It changes the flavor of the wine. So pairing your, that's why you pair your food with your wine and it's, yeah, okay. Oh my gosh. This just got even, this just got brighter. Wow, that's really amazing. That's the only way I can describe it. It just got the fruit intensity just like went whoa i don't know how it just did that's amazing mm. Mm. alexa imagery in sonoma cool i've heard of that mm. i saw someone ask one of my favorite ones to go to in napa so hall um silverado is gorgeous that's the disney owned one um walt's daughter owned that Gorgeous view. Um, 
a good one to go to if you've never been is Mandavi because you could get a, a, a real good intro tour to things there, which is awesome. Um, Castello di Amorosa, you could go to go see a castle and drink some wine, which is amazing. So good. <laughs> My brother's here with a ridiculous comment. <laughs> Mmm. Disney Nerd Z. Thank you so much for the super chat. Disney fans, Buena Vista Winery is amazing. Yes. I've been to Buena Vista. I actually went there last year, right around this time. Yeah. So good. My brother said Gallo wines, but don't take his advice. Uh-uh. Epcot forever. Ooh, Stag's Leap. Yum. Mmm. Okay, this cheese is making this so unbelievable. Mmm. I just ate dinner, too. And I'll add cheese after it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Shannon, you guys are having a white Rufino Orvieto Classico. Uh, so, Rufino Orvieto Classico, Italian white, I assume. Yes? An Italian white wine? Yeah, Dee Dee, we're just doing the one wine tonight. I, I, I think that we got it. I only have three left of the wine access wines, so we got. We, I'm like, I gotta conserve. Um, Shannon and Matt, I've been to Orvieto in Italy, and I had white wine there. You know, I like red better. But when I was there in Italy, they were like, you have to have the white from here, and it was unbelievable. So. Yes. Good choice. Is it good? A Trebbiano blend. Awesome. Yes. Exactly. Okay, yeah. So that, that's exactly what I have when I went there. Erica, do I have a list of all the wineries I've been to in Napa? Ooh, good question. No. But I could look back through my pictures. I should do that. Would that help? I think that would be a good one. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't tried Naked Wines. No. Oh my gosh, I love this. So, um, <clears throat> cheesy pop sellers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Wine Wednesday donation. I'll go crazy if you stop. Dee Dee, thank you. The plan is, the plan is to buy more wine access wine. Yes. That's the plan. Do not worry. I just had to conserve uh, because I only got three left. So I'm like, ooh. Mm. And um, they, they, they were out of a bunch of stuff. So I'm, I'm just like, let me wait till they get a new shipment of stuff. You know what? The, uh, and I've heard this is a big issue. Um, you know, alcohol sales, wine sales have gone through the roof, uh, obviously since, you know, all of our stay-at-home orders have happened, and uh, it's, they're having trouble keeping up with the <laughs> demand. It's crazy. Crazy. Jamie, what? Did you, did, uh, Jay, did you copy and paste that from somewhere on the uh, internet? Especially the rumors of dark currents, medium body? <laughs> Oh man, we're good. We're good. My brother, he's copy and pasting things from the internet on wine. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's funny. He's funny. So, okay. Now I'm gonna get. Now I'm gonna get. Uh, all um, 
<laughs> Bill Nye, the science guy, on you. Because I want to talk to you about the Earth and our climate. Bust out your wine, Samantha. We, we got... We gotta talk. We gotta talk. Okay? Okay? We gotta talk about this. I'm getting through this pretty good, right? Should we talk about should we talk about it? Should we talk about this? Okay. So I was reading stuff which blew my mind today about climate change and the effects on mine. So they 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 could they could go back years on on uh like wine harvesting records and stuff, which is you know, which you can't do with a lot of things. So I read something today that said the temperatures have climbed so much that harvests now begin uh an average of thirteen days earlier than they did prior to 1988. So, like, because it's hotter now, everyone's had to shift when they harvest, which is so interesting. And they can go back, like, to the 1300s on this. Um, they have records from Burgundy, France. This is crazy. They got records from Burgundy, France that show that our harvests now are earlier than they've ever been in over 700 years. So that's crazy. <laughs> um, so that is like, that's how much we have changed our planet in in the last you know 30 years so crazy um one of the one of the interesting things that i read too and this is kind of like huh is that with warmer conditions you uh the grapes ripen quicker and more e more uh, easily so it lowers the acidity, increases the sugar, and if you pick it at the right time, the wines are fuller and, and, and fruitier with higher alcohol. So it's actually a good thing for the wine, <laughs> but um, it's a little bit of a mess because our weather conditions are also more extreme now. So you're going to get these periods that are too hot and these periods that are too cold. And it really messes up with when you actually harvest it. So everyone's had to adapt to these, you know, the changing weather conditions. It's an interesting... Oh, Alexa, you heard that Napa will no longer be able to grow. I mean... Some of Napa, it, it, it's true, there are parts of um, Napa that, like, Napa's really big on, um, like, Cabernet Sauvignon is, like, the, like, a huge thing in Napa, and uh, Cabernet Sauvignon in Napa by, like, 20, 40, 50, 60 could, could not be a thing that they can grow there uh, and harvest there properly anymore. So, like, winemakers now have to think about that for, for the future and start to experiment with different kinds of um, grapes based on the temperature changes that are happening and will continue to happen unless we do something about it. So, let's do something about it <laughs> now while we have the chance. So, you see what I'm saying? It's crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Both of my brothers are here, so say hi to uh, Cliff and Jay. They are both here in the chat. What's up, guys? Hi. I'm gonna sip this. Man, this is good. Save the planet, save the wine. That is very true, Brian. 
So did I, did I blow your mind with some of that? Did I blow your mind with some of that? Because I got, I got more Earth Day wine facts. I told you I had a lot of time to read up on this. <laughs> if you want some more stuff, I got more stuff. But I'm getting hot. And I'm out of this, so why don't I turn the AC on, and I will uh, give you more wine info if you would like that. Would you like that? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Science. 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 Ciao. <laughs> That's good, Michelle. I know, did you ever think you'd get science lessons from me? Right? This is, this is new. Mm-hmm. Just having some water. Ooh, a Zin from Clinker Brick in Lod... Ooh, Lodi. How was that? I really like Zins lately. It's good stuff. <clears throat> so, should I pour some more? I think so. <laughs> who's gonna get... Who's gonna capture this in their story on Instagram? Me pouring this. That's what I want to know. If you could do this, I... I be very impressive. Here we go. Let's pour. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that color, it's so beautiful. Mm, wow yeah. Um, my mom uh, is here, she said my chemistry teacher would be proud. I mean, it's probably the only time my chemistry teacher would ever be proud. I was not good in chemistry, guys, let's just say that. Oh, uh, wow, that chemistry was a struggle. What did my brother just say here? I like Merlot lately. The softer round of grape has more obvious fruity tones than a cab. It counterbalances the austerity and astringency <laughs> of the cab. I gotta disagree with you there, Jay. Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Keep it going, though. I like this. <laughs> what do you mean dad never took chemistry? How do you get out of that? How? How did my dad get out of chemistry? I'm not drinking the friggin' Merlot! Yeah. I wish I could have got out of chemistry. Man, that was tough. He, he's a musician. Well, high school didn't make him take chemistry. I don't, I don't get it, but all right. But it's fine, because we're doing science today. <laughs> so, um, Sideways is a great wine movie if you want to see a movie about wine. Yes. So, you know what I was saying um, about our, our climate change, you know, On the hot side, it, it's good and, and, and for wine a lot. But if you are, if it's cool, if it's too cool, and then it warms a little bit, you know, because we have some, these crazy extremes now, then then you're. It, it's just it's just a tricky time, you know. Um. You know, a lot of our, I know the whole family's here. This is great. And I'm teaching them about wine and weather. <laughs> um, so another thing that I read was okay, so this is something that, that uh, I read. <clears throat> but first, I will read this from my brother. 
Don't forget about Malbec. It plays a supportive role in Bordeaux, more common in Cahors and Argentina. Deep colored and fruit forward, not to be missed. Jeez. <laughs> so, um, what was I saying? I was gonna teach, teach, and I got this going on now. So, um, a lot of uh, successful vineyards are at 30 and 50 degrees uh, latitude. Okay? Okay. But, as the temperatures have, have risen, the places to grow wine has now changed. And they're moving farther uh, from the equator. And they're making wines in, like, the UK now, which are really good, apparently. Appar apparently. I don't know for sure. But because the temperature is warmer, now they can grow wines. It's just wild. Sparkling in the UK is awesome. Look at that, Alexa. Yeah, I don't know about red. I, I have never tried. Has anyone ever tried a UK red? Anybody? I didn't, I've never tried that. I don't know what that would be like. Um, uh, where is this thing? I pulled this up. I pulled something up that I want to read to you. Cause this, is this is fascinating. I should become a sommelier, Zara. I got time right now to do it, you know? Hold on, I want to pull this up. Um... Okay, let me read this to you. Matt could help me study? All right, Matt. Okay, listen to this. Did you do it again, Jay? You have, Matt has flashcards? All right, I gotta do that. I, I, I would study. That, that sounds good to me during this time. Petit, Bordeaux, Petit Verdot is a small but important Bordeaux-style red blend. Single varietals are powerful, deeply colored, and tannic. It blends, boosts, tannins, and deepens the color. Offers a distinctive spicy note. Good job, Jay. Yeah. How do you know all that? Um, I could, I could do, I should be a sommelier. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me read some of uh, this to you. So, this is, uh... This is about conditions in Champagne. Okay. Okay. The weather pattern changes, but the last uh, couple years has been consistently more sun, more tropical rainstorms, but less water throughout the summer. This year, we had multiple heat waves and the vines struggled. We harvest earlier and earlier. My grandparents harvested mid-October, and now we harvest the second week of September. The juice is warm as it's hotter during harvest, which is not ideal. And now, because it's warmer, our base wines are fruitier and richer. Um, even for varieties that benefit from warmer conditions, research contends there is a point at which things begin to sour. And that's, that's really true. Is that like listening to my audiobooks? Man, I would love to do an audiobook about wine. Someone, oh man, that'd be great. That'd be great. You know, if you have too much direct sunlight, that can lead to uh, the fruit being dried. Um, you know, really dull wine. You know what I'm saying? Um, like the vines can get sunburned. That's how much like crazy science goes into to making this. It's it's just blows my mind. This is what I was doing all day. I was just like reading all of this, and I was just like, what? <laughs> Car Carmenere is is nearly extinct in Bordeaux today, and is much more significant in Chile. It is a low yielding grape that produces deep colored, full bodied wines. Pairs well with a happy meal. <laughs> uh, 
Didi, um, I saw you ask if I'm if I miss working. Yeah, I miss working. Yeah, <laughs> I do. Yeah, I miss uh, I miss you know doing some voiceover jobs and things like that. You know, but I can't recommend what my brother said about having wine with a happy meal. Although. You know what? I bet the, 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 the French fries, you know what? I bet, I bet it'd be all right. That the saltiness and the, you know what I mean? Yeah, it'd be pretty. I wouldn't recommend it though. Waltz Chili Bowl, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you're learning. I'm glad you're learning. That's great. A nice wine with a, yeah, you want to pair your bit, yeah. Oh, jeez, yeah. Erica, nice. You pair your Big Mac with, with some wine. That would be, um... Yeah. The notes, the, the, the tasting notes on that would be... Mm. Oh, Anna B, you want to see a video with my brothers and me? Oh, there actually is one. There is definitely a video with my brothers... It is from when we went to um, the. <laughs> it was from when we went to the Jets game a couple of years ago. So if you Google, um, if you go on YouTube and you search, I guess Mr. Cheesy Pop Jets, you will find us there. Because we went and saw uh, the Jets uh, football, Didi football. Yeah, so we are there. Oh, not a one. No, it's not with another one. Oh, you want to see us do this? <laughs> we drink beer in that video. That is for sure. Jets are so not good, but yeah. Uh, man, this is good. We did. We we drank a lot of beer that day. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was freezing that day, too. Oof. Freezing. Right? That day was so cold. Oh, man. Um. Oh, Tammy. Hey, Tammy Mason. How are you? Ah. Uh, hey, Tammy. My best to you guys. I hope you're doing well. Uh, of course, I miss Disney, too. Um... Why are why so many Jets fans in Miami? Uh, it's that New York, Florida thing. Cliff, us and 5,000 fans. Yeah, there was no one at that game because it was like the last game of the year and the Jets were terrible. Ugh, it was rough. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. Samantha, do I like wine from Oregon? Um, I've, I, I can't say that I've had a lot of wine from Oregon, but I would uh, love to try some more. And if you've got a recommendation, I am all ears. Project I'm working on from a day in my life video, Luke? Uh, what do you mean? Which one? Dee, do you miss my videos? Um, Dee, do I miss making the videos in the parks, obviously. But I still have more to put out. That's why I've done this thing, like, every Monday, I've, I'm putting out a video from the parks. Do you like wine from Baltimore? <laughs> How, those Baltimore vineyards, yeah. 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 Some fine stuff there. Korea is your favorite winery? Okay. A fly landed in your wine glass, Erica? Oh. It's okay. It's protein. It's all good. Do not fret, Erica. Drink it. Ah, for my next wine order. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. I really appreciate that. Chateau, Chateau Saint-Michel. Kelsey, um, I can't say that I've had that. Where is that located? Where is that located?
Washington. Okay. It, um, I'm gonna have to check that out. Make it blue, you're creating blog posts about content creators. What to put in my post? Wood, Woodenville, Washington, Rachel? Okay. Uh, um, audition in the part I got Luke. Yeah, I can't show it because I don't know when that TV show or whatever I did will ever air. <laughs> Washington Toronto is similar to France. Oh, is it? And see, that's really cool. I, I, you know, I'd love to to head up there. Yeah, what wine pairs well with a housefly? <laughs> Any wine. It is really warm, Dee Dee. I don't even. It, it, it was hot today for that one second that I stepped outside. <laughs> took a little, I took a little stroll to the balcony and I was like, oh no, mm, no, it's too warm. Okay, I'll see you later. Alina, Scribe Winery. Have I been there? Um, I feel like I may have been there. I've favored Riesling lately. It typically expresses notes of apple, citrus, honey, and petrol. It's one of the top white grapes in the world, especially. <laughs> there is no way. Okay, what is pet, really petrol? 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 It confused me too. I don't know. Look at this color. Look at this color. Ah, there we go. Shannon is coming through. People use that as a tasting note. Matt said that. Okay. Okay, if Matt said it, that's what it is. Um, okay. It's just a tasting note. They don't actually put gas in it. Um, this is just a note. That was good. Denise, thank you so much. I heart wine Wednesday too. Cheers. Wine Wednesday. Wine Wednesday. It's a great day. Yeah, no Riesling. Um, plastic? Wait a minute. Matt said that plastic is a tasting note for real? You want me to pick one video that I've made that I'm proud of? Oh man, gosh, that's hard to do. I don't know, what do you guys like? I like hearing from you guys. It's all a blur to me when I make videos. German Riesling from certain areas, plastic. That is weird. So we're all learning things tonight. Pumpkin spice, yeah. You could say that Wine Wednesday is a grape day, yes. <laughs> Galaxy's Edge opening day was pretty amazing, but I think um, I am pretty fond of Will You Accept This Churro? Yeah. I don't know, part one or two, I don't know which one, but I, I really enjoyed making those. I thought those were a lot of fun. Yeah. Those are really a lot of fun. Um, uh, 
Yeah. I wanted to tell you guys something else, though, about wine and science. Oh, I love Magic in the Air. Magic in the Air and um, There's No More Festive Place to Be would be another um, a couple videos that I do love as well. I had something else to tell you guys. <laughs> I have to tell you. Oh, yeah. I was going to talk to you uh, more about science. This is a video about science. I wanted to talk to you also very quickly about soil <laughs> because in case you didn't know, soil is a huge part of the wine growing process. Um, and, and let me show you something. I, got a little, I, got, I pulled up a little graphic uh, uh, here for you. It's good. Oh, it's just, there it is. I love this. I actually took a picture uh, like this when I went to Napa once because um, I was in a winery and it, it, it was something very similar to this where it showed the wine on top and the soil that it came from. And I thought that was so neat. Uh, and so this is another one of the things that affects your wine. Dirt! Dirt, sun, climate, elevation, Everything is goes into making this beautiful elixir of life. Man, do I love it. Do I love it or do I love it? I love it. Uh... Kevin, you have a friend that made their own wine? Look at that. That's pretty impressive. I gotta try to do that. But I really want to go and just get a vineyard in Napa. Okay. That'd be, that'd be cool. So if anyone's got, like, an extra, you know, like, um, $100 million lying around, that would be great. And then we can all, we could like all co-own the vineyard, okay? I mean, I think it's a, a, a great idea. I think that it would, it would be a, a wonderful place to live. Um, you know, it's beautiful up there in Napa. I, I'm good. Okay, so 100 million or so, you know, anyone that's got it, let's just do it. <laughs> what time is it? Seven o'clock, oh man. 400. No, I don't, I don't actually want money for this. <laughs> It'd be great. But, you know, <laughs> I like the Wine Wednesdays because it, the Wine Wednesdays um, have been turning into, you know, like this uh, pretty just chill, casual uh, evening. Right? It's been kind of fun. Should we go one hour till Survivor? Don't worry, Dee Dee. I won't keep you past Survivor. <laughs> no, Cliff, Taco Tuesday. No, no, it's Trivia Tuesday. Cliff, you missed Trivia Tuesday yesterday. Mm. Trivia Tuesday yesterday was insane. We had like record-breaking numbers in in the in the in the chat and people watching yesterday. That was wild. 
Trivia Tuesday yesterday was um, unbelievable. We did really well. You want tacos? Get some tacos then. <laughs> I missed you too there, Shannon and Matt. You, 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 uh, you'll be there next week, I hope. I'll make the questions extra difficult. Tab Thursdays! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Good night, Luke. Okay. You want to see my tabs? Do you want to see some tabs? I'll show you some tabs. It's, it's, it's only gotten worse, guys. It's only gotten worse. It's gotten way worse. Um, you know, it's gotten worse since last week. And last week I said that I was going to clean them up and it, it, it got worse. It got extra worse today because um, of my wine um, research I was doing. I had like six wine tabs open today, which was just great, you know. <laughs> this is crazy. And Jen is here. Oh, what's up, Jen? You see Jen right there? Jen Rickerson right there. Jen today... Actually, <laughs> Jen texted me a, a new, like, Google Chrome plugin or whatever that allows you to have multiple tabs in one tab. Genius. But also a problem. I will need an intervention, Erica. Mark, I am missing baseball so much. So much. I'm telling you. So much. Um, so maybe, Dee Dee, we can do a tabs video at some point. Yes. A help me clean my tabs video. I think there's like... There's more than 80 now, for sure. Yeah, so. It's, it's, it's not great. Oh, sorry for shaking the camera there. Um, it's a problem. Well, I was thinking that, I was thinking that maybe tomorrow, you know, We would do another song with my dad. It could be tomorrow. Would I ever hold a Zoom meeting with fans? Uh, well, I, I've got my Patreon live streams. If I did, it would be on Patreon for sure. I've only had two glasses. I'm on my second glass, Paul. Dee Dee, earthquake? Did you have an earthquake? Did you have it? Did did Dee Dee just have an earthquake? We're waiting for word from Dee Dee here. Cause that is an option on Patreon. Yeah, I mean, cause we had an earthquake last night. Well, it actually happened uh, today, cause it was right after midnight. Let me tell you about last night. Oh, earthquake when I shook the table. Let me tell you about last night. Here I am. Oh yes, miniature Missy right there. We were we were talking last night, right after that earthquake happened. Oh my goodness. Here's what I was doing last night. Oh man, I'm just brushing my teeth. I'm all good. I'm tired. I'm gonna get in bed. I got in bed. And I didn't even lie down yet. I literally was sitting in bed and watching like a video on my phone and it was like, I'm like, 
Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that was... Okay. Um, so... <laughs> And then I was up for, I was up past one last night because once you, I don't know if you've, second earthquake, <laughs> I don't know if any of you have felt um, earthquakes before, but um, they give you like a, you know, it's like you get this of adrenaline because you just like, so there's no way I, 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 I could sleep. Your hands were shaking. Yeah. Curse the light pearl. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, because it was not a big earthquake. It was only a 3.8. But uh, it was right here in L.A. It was like right here in L.A. So all of us Angelinos, we really felt it. Um, you know, sometimes when they're a little farther away, we still feel it. Um, but they're not as crazy. But like a 3.8 three, uh, three or 3.7... It, 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 when it's right in, right at your, like, location is like, oh, uh, you know, it's crazy. Um, I don't, whenever they happen, you can hear the, uh, crack, crackling of your, your, your house or your building. You, f you can hear the wood <laughs> and stuff. It's. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> that's that's always a weird thing. <laughs> when you can hear your the wood in your uh home. <laughs> ah, good times, right? Really good times. <laughs> the last thing we needed was that. Smog, yeah, the, the air is so clear here. It is, um, the air is as clear as it's ever been. Yeah. Ever. It, it's a, it, it is like, I've lived in LA, um, for uh, 13 years, I've never seen our air look like this from the times I've been outside. And I haven't been outside much. Just on my balcony. Just on the balcony out there. It's like the only times I've been outside, really, you know. And, and, a, and a few walks. Um, but yeah, our air is gorgeous. Yeah, it's gorgeous here. Uh, so, I should go back to the balcony. Could do that again. And come out to the balcony. Fill this up. Let me top this off and we can go out to the balcony. Oh, Erica, you're on your balcony. I'll join you on the balcony. Let's go do that. that sounds good. Man, I love this wine. Yao Ming. Who knew Yao Ming could create such spectacular wine, you know? I mean, that's, that's really incredible, Yao Ming. Always remember to hydrate while you're having your wine. Really, 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 really important. Um, also, give me like 30 seconds because I need to use the restroom because, uh, eh. Eh? See? Look how much water I've actually had, too. So important. Drink your water. Um, I will be right back, and then we'll go uh, outside. So talk amongst yourselves and behave. <laughs>
Let's see what's going on here. What have I missed? Oh, look at all this. I love this. I love it. I love that you guys have... I love that you guys are just chatting here, and I, I am gone, and you're just chatting. This is the... See, so you guys are the best, because... um. You're all like, cheers from wherever you are and stuff, and I, I just love it. It's really fantastic. So, uh, thanks for being awesome, everybody. Really. Okay, let's head on out to the balcony. All right. I, I've got the wine on here. Remember this, guys? The, the, this, this is where I broke that plate that was when I was doing the baseball uh, thing, and I, w I was like, I was over here, and I, I swung, and I hit the plate right there, like right on the, <laughs> it, was, it was something, let me tell you. All right, let's go out. Weather should be perfect right now. You know? It should be really nice now. Yeah, I broke a Disneyland plate. It was really sad. It was really sad. <laughs> All right, let's put the wine glass down there. Let's get this over here. All right. Okay. And a beautiful evening here in Los Angeles. Beautiful. Beautiful evening here in L.A. Is that a chopper? Yep. Beautiful. It is a beautiful night here. Um, the weather is actually really warm. It got uh, it got incredibly hot today, which is just really weird um, here in LA. So really warm. I was like, no, I don't want it to be too hot. Cause the warm weather during quarantine, like. Mm, it's not the most ideal thing. Sorry, I gotta put this on the table here. Yeah, it's gonna be in the 90s. Isn't that crazy? It's gonna be in the 90s, I think, like, tomorrow? Yeah. It's gonna be in the 90s tomorrow. Don't want that. But that's what we're getting, unfortunately. It's like, man, come on. 
I think we will get a good sunset tonight. It's quite possible. We we've we've had uh, we've had some good ones actually. It's been pretty cool. Um, barely in the fifties there, Rachel. Rachel, where are you? Yeah, Dee Dee, any time. I'll always be your drinking buddy. Beep, beep. Was that a car? Was someone going into their car? Northern Washington, okay. Um, guys, when's the last time you drove? <laughs> when is the last time anyone drove? I'm, I'm legit trying to think about this. <laughs> um drove friday drove for more <laughs> nice mike uh when did i drive last you drove a drive through starbucks nice happy birthday rachel you picked up your groceries instead of delivery? Okay, so I had mine delivered the other day. This is crazy. Two hours ago, Didi. Oh, good night, Ricky. Thank you, Amanda. You stay, stay, you stay safe and healthy, too. And thank you so much for being here. I went for a drive last Wednesday. Did I? I don't remember that. Did I go for a drive on Wednesday? <laughs> no, you know what? The last time I was... Oh! It was... It was like a week and a half ago. A week and a half or two weeks ago. Yeah. We can have two weeks ago. Yeah. Yep. I got a... I went to um, this local Italian place that was doing um, make-your-own pizza. So they had a pizza kit, so, but I had to go uh, pick it up. I think that was the last time I drove. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> we don't drive anymore. We just do not drive anymore. Pump gas. Oh, uh, I... I... Uh... Oh, I do know this. I do know the last time that I got gas. It was when we got the official stay-at-home order. That day. Because I knew I was on empty. Because I had just gotten back from Disney World. And I was like... Let me go get gas, because I don't know what the future is going to hold. So let me just at least have a full tank. And so I, I, got, I got gas that day. So that's like a month ago. So. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah. But you know, I've been basically at home since I got back from Disney World, um, which was, uh, I got back from Disney World m March 9th. Yeah. So I got back from Disney World March 9th. And that, that was when it was kind of starting up. And so I just didn't go anywhere from that day on because I knew, like, oh, I could be a, a carrier of it because I was in Disney World, or I'm sure I was exposed to it, <laughs> you know? So um, I haven't gone anywhere since then.
You hear the sirens? Yeah. Yeah, so I haven't gone anywhere in a, in a, in a really long time. How many days is that? March 10th till now. I don't even know. March 10th. You drove Catello one night, Erica? Oh, Catello. How's good old Catello? Forty-three. If I don't count March tenth itself, oh my gosh, that's a long time. I see. Make it blue. You said something about uh, clapping for all of our healthcare workers. So we do that every night here in LA at eight. It's really cool. Um, the entire uh, at least where I live, um, people are really into it, and it's awesome. And everyone gets out on their balconies and is screaming and cheering and clapping and it's really great um it's super neat it's been one of the nice things actually every night at eight o'clock it's like yeah woo! so um that's been a really nice thing uh about living in a in a in a big city like this because we come out and it's kind of like oh yeah we're living in a nice little community here it's good Um, no, I did not get my, uh, stimulus check, Dee Dee. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Cheers to you, make it blue, to your grandfather and all your family. Yeah, I, I, uh, yeah. I don't know where our stimulus check is. I don't know what's going on. Um, why don't I feature the empty streets around Disneyland? Aaron, um... It's not like the closest drive for me and I just don't feel like going down there. You know? So... Yeah. I mean, it'd be quicker than normal because there's no traffic in LA, so... Yeah, I filed my taxes in um, February also, but uh, I did not get my check, so I don't know what's up. Oh, Mike, three miles from the park, don't have the fireworks. Yeah, that's weird. A lot of security, Erica. Yeah, I don't. It's not, I don't want to go down there. You know, I'm good. I'm good, you know? Yeah. Can someone turn their smoke detector off, please? I'm trying to have a live stream conversation. At least the tapping stopped down there. I mean, someone's smoke detector has been going on for like... It stopped! <laughs> There's probably someone just cooking, you know? Who has said their smoke detector off cooking? Who's done that? Have we all done that? I think we've all done it. You took yours off. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we, we, we've all kind of done that. Yeah. 
feel like a lot of times it happens when I'm trying to do, like, chicken. On a pan. Okay. So. I bought, I bought this new, uh, well, I don't know if it's new, but I bought the Ninja Foodie Grill, which I've been using a few times during this uh, whole, whole deal. Amazing. If you need to grill indoors, highly recommended. So good. Anyone else have that? That thing is good. Make a video about it, the ninja? I guess a could, Dee Oh, look at this. Do you see what's going on here? Oh, man. Is this not a picture? Do you see? This could be a GIF. <laughs> this is pretty. Sorry, that was beautiful. Was that not the most beautiful? That was the most beautiful thing I've seen today. <laughs> it just looks good with the sky. Oh man. Hold on a second. Wait, let's Let's try some Let's try some stuff. Okay. Get ready, because this is gonna be fun. Okay, let's try some things. I don't know. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. So, there are sunset in the distance. There. Okay. Let's, let's go. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> this is awesome. This is great. <laughs> we are, we are, we are doing good here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How good is that? Okay. Is that, 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 was that not fantastic? Or is it just quarantine and like anything is like super amazing right now? Ooh, I like that wind. Nice breeze. Nice breeze. Man, that was, that was great. It looks really cool here because of the white. By the way, yeah, that's an owl. Um, that is a new thing to um, my community since uh, uh, quarantine. The birds have definitely taken over, which is really interesting. That owl woke me up the other day at like 5.30. I was like, what are you, what are you doing? But yeah, we have owls, I guess, now in LA. It's so wild. Um, you know, sort of beautiful because nature is back but also like <laughs> what <laughs> it's crazy well he is he is ready he's like it's sunset this is my time to shine <laughs> look at this guy look at this um He's somewhere over there. <sighs> just trying to... I'm just trying to swirl my wine. This owl wants the, the spotlight. 
This is my show, Owl. Man, this owl, he just is like... I wonder if I can find that owl. That's the thing. <laughs> That's the thing. I would love to find that owl. Right? I'd love to find that owl. But this owl has been a... Um, a new addition to our lives here in the neighborhood. I mean, he's very nice, you know, he sounds nice, but you know, he's just also a little too loud, especially at 5.30 in the morning. Bye, Anna, I hope you have a good night. What are we reading to the boys tonight? Yeah, Owl is too loud. Oh, he better bring me my Hogwarts re look. Whoa, look at this. Back to back, we have a Harry Potter references. Hopefully he brings you a Hogwarts letter from Miniature Missy. And and B with the book seven of Harry, I love this. How good is that? That makes me so happy. My little Hufflepuff heart, oh, is so warm from that. Oh, it's windy. Look at this hair. What is going on? I need a haircut so bad. <laughs> what is going on? Oh gosh, I need a haircut so badly. Especially just right here. What is happening? We started talking about Harry Potter, right, right, and now the wind is going crazy. I don't, I don't know, man. What's up, Hufflepuffs? That's right, Carrie. Um, am I watching the NFL draft tomorrow? You bet I am. Woo! Wow, that was some magic. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta do a little trim though. Definitely a Hufflepuff. Did I mention that this wine was... <clears throat> Did I? That's what this video is supposed to be about, by the way. Of course you should watch Harry Potter. Read it, read it first, and then... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now it just looks like the wine glass is disappearing into the... What is, what is this, a Santa Ana Winds? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that. It is windy now. As you can clearly see, the wind is uh, a howling. Oh, you thought I was showing you Mr. Owl? No, I was just giving you a sky. I don't know where Mr. Owl is. He's a loud, he's a loud little owl, but has not made himself visible. Okay, <laughs> maybe I need to go back.
It feels really nice actually, but it's gorgeous outside, but it's really windy. What is going on here? Um, where are my SoCal people that are, are here? Is it windy where you are? I know Eric is here. Where am, where are my other SoCal people? Let's go fly a kite. Yeah. Not windy in the OC. No from Evan. I mean, is it only an L.A. thing? Are any of my L.A. people here? Courtney, are you in L.A.? Cassidy, Granada Hills. Is it, is it windy in Granada Hills? Torrance? Alright, Torrance got a little bit. Okay. Well, we are... What is that? <laughs> that Did you see that bug? was big and it was buzzing and he hit he hit my he landed on my hand oh man what was that I don't even know what that was <laughs> it's tough to be a bug yeah man No, he's gone. Oh, man. I was going to show you him, and then he left. He was, he was sitting on the uh, little side here of the balcony, and then he, he just peaced out. Okay, well that was fun. <laughs> now I'm like, where is he? <sighs> Look at... I need a haircut. It's time. It's definitely time to get a hair cut. Speaking of time, what time actually is it? What time is it? Summertime, it's our vacation. Time to end it. Time to end this thing. We're gonna end this thing um, in, a, in just a couple of minutes here, yeah. Um. Sums here get to be taken out. Yeah. We are really the the wind is a blowing the the It is a party. This is happening. This is happening. I've got wings, you know? I got I got wings now. We, yeah, we got wings.
Can I do a Patreon Zoom chat? I... we could try to arrange that. Would be a lot of fun to do a Patreon Zoom chat. Yeah. Yeah. This hair is crazy. Esther, thank you. Um, wait, please check the top clicky part of your pencil? The pencil I use when, when we're doing the live art drawing the green cap comes off and there's an eraser okay we're going inside right now we got to check on this esther okay esther has got what <laughs> okay let's go let 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 let, let let's see if this is accurate Hold on. Okay. Uh, hello, Esther. Okay, let's find out. Okay. Hold on. So you're telling me that this is an eraser? This green part? This? Are you shh? Wait, this does not look like an eraser. This just got a hole. <laughs> it's not. just got a hole. I broke it. It's not an eraser, Esther. <laughs> And there's nothing in here. Yours has an eraser. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's definitely no eraser in here. Well. It's a good thing I don't make mistakes. <laughs> Thank you, Esther, though. That was worth a, a look. Man. It's supposed to have one. I can't believe they didn't give me an eraser. I can't believe it. Courtney! What's up? Hi, Courtney. Quick draw. <laughs> Thank you, Courtney. How you doing tonight? She is. Can everyone give a... Can everyone give a... A big round of applause to Courtney? Like, for real. For real. Courtney's an amazing person, by the way. Courtney. When this is all over, Courtney, you know, one day Courtney's got to gotta cook for, like, all the cheesy poppers. That would be who I, I, I hire to do the cooking for the big cheesy pop gathering whenever that happens one day in life. Okay. Courtney... As a chef, so. Thanks, Courtney. Oh, Zara. Zara, how are you? What are you drinking tonight, Zara? 
Was that a refill for you or a refill for me? <clears throat> Pinot Grigio, Ozara going with the white wine this evening. Very nice. Chris, good mood? Yes. Always. Vegas Jeff Zara needs to drink more? <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> um, guys, we gotta go really soon. No black and white day this year, I know, sorry. Sad times. Um... A gift of the wine. Did anyone get a good shot of this, by the way, outside? <coughs> anyone get a good shot of that? Because I, uh... That was some pretty fun, uh, swirling. Um... Oh, you guys did? Oh, you guys are funny. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Um, this was super fun. Super fun. We, we, we've been, our Tuesday and Wednesdays are just the best, right? Tuesdays and Wednesdays, we are killing it here. Wednesdays are when we have really gotten to just chill and hang, which has been a lot of fun. Um, it's like my Cheesy Pop special crew, you know what I mean? We get, yeah, it's good stuff. Uh, our Wine Wednesday crew is like, yeah, yeah. You see that green bottle staring at me back there? Look at that thing. That's, so that's vermouth. That's not, that, that's for martinis. So, uh, we'll do that another, we'll do that another time. Maybe on my birthday. My birthday is so soon. Um, my birthday is in a week and a half. That is crazy. What? Yeah, that extra dry. Thank you, Make It Blue. Thank you, Caitlin. I really appreciate it. So happy it can help you, really. Um, but I've seen that episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Taurus is in the house. We are here. Next uh, Friday... Next Friday is the birthday celebration. We'll figure out what we're doing eventually. We'll do something. Um, <laughs> it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. A good, 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 good time. Crazy. May 1st. May 1st. Um, yeah, it's a bummer I can't be at Disney, but I'll be right here and it'll be all good. And we'll do, we will do something. We'll do something on that day, for sure. Um, all right, guys. Thank you so much for being here. You guys are amazing. Uh... I hope you enjoyed the the wine lesson, um, our Earth Day wine lesson. We got some science in tonight. We got some just hanging and chatting in tonight. This is good stuff. Happy 40th, Tiffany. Um, it was a fun time. We had a good, real good time. Um...
I will be back. I think you'll get a new video from me tomorrow. Okay, I think you will. I think you might get a song maybe from me and my dad. Uh, and beyond that, I know nothing. <laughs> but you'll get hopefully a drawing on Sunday and uh, Monday in the parks, Trivia Tuesday, and then back here for Wine Wednesday again uh, as we lead into my birthday next week. Good times. Thanks so much for hanging tonight, guys. Uh, I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope you and your families are doing well and you're healthy. Thank you. I will check my Instagram story um, in just a little bit. Martini Monday tip. <laughs> Thank you, Tiffany. I really appreciate it. Martini Monday is always a possibility. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. <laughs> I mean, I did just buy that. You know I made my Instacart person pick that up. <laughs> Thank you, Tiffany. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, man. All right, it's time to salute the healthcare workers in just a few minutes. So I'm going to go do that. Uh, thank you, guys. You, the best. Have a wonderful evening. Bye, guys. One more swirl for the road, right? Yeah. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>